Sorry, I'm fixing my hair. I didn't realize how bad it looked until I just got on here. <laughs> it looks beautiful. <laughs> so we're recording now. And so thanks for listening, you guys, and popping on the call. And everyone who's listening to the replay, um, Christy's going to start just to share some of the awesome recognition from April, um, which we usually do on our calls. So I'll hand it over to Christy. All right, this is my favorite part. I love recognizing all the awesome stuff that everybody's doing, and I like being recognized, so let's face it. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. So um, we're going to start with Success Club points. Um, Rockstar new coach, Kendra, had 30 Success Club points, which is crazy. I feel like I thought Kate hit it hard with, was it 25 one month, and 30 is just out of this world. So great job, Kendra. Our fearless leader, Kate Noble, with 13 Success Club points. Jennifer, how do you say your last name? Is it Goodale? Is that right? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was muted. Yes. Oh, that's okay. It's like good um, with 12, Amber Huber with 11, uh, Christy Nystrom, myself with nine, Angie Rendigan with four, Cindy Glynn, uh, two, Cliff Nystrom, two, Erica Hillier, new coach, two, uh, Vicki Pointer, two, Christy Lowing, two, and Ashley Dipuma, one. Dipuma, did I say that right? Oh, um, top recruiters, uh, Kendra with three new recruits, that's new coach recruits, Amber Huber with two, Cliff Nystrom with two, Angie Rundigan with two, Jennifer Goodale had two, Kate Noble had two, Cindy Glenn had one, I had one, and Christy Lowing had one, which is so awesome, you guys. I think this is like the biggest, I might be wrong, Kate's been paying attention, but it's a pretty big month of recruiting. For us, so those numbers might seem small, but we're we're a new team, so that's that's super awesome. And uh, rank advancements to Emerald, uh, Kendra Harton, Amber Huber, and Jennifer. Way to go, ladies! Yay! And that's it. It was an awesome month, and we've had so many awesome things already happening in May. So we're going to recognize again, you know, obviously in June on our call, but I have got to give some recognition to Christy um, Nystrom and then Kendall Glenn for both advancing to Diamond. Um, that is a big accomplishment um, and it's really exciting and we have a lot of other, co or other coaches on the team that are really close um, and it's just so fun to see everybody getting excited and this is an awesome time of year because it's summer, you know, and we're getting towards summer and people are excited and wanting to really take control of their health. Um, so you have a really big opportunity right now. Um, this is like an awesome time of the year. So take advantage of that. You know, people are looking for help um, and you have a role that you can play in that. So that's kind of fun. So I want to get started into our call, but first I had a few items I wanted to quickly share. Uh, just a uh, heads up. So if you haven't already connected to the Live Power Hour group, we are um, banding together with a few other teams to host Live Power Hours. Um, it's if you find it helpful. I personally like to lead them because it helps me be consistent with my power hour um, and be really effective with my time because sometimes during the day it's easy for me to like do it here and there um, but it's a great way for you to pop on and learn at the same time about a power hour um, and so there's gonna be lots of them help get a part of become a part of that group um, if you aren't just let us know after the call and we can get you in and um, you can choose which ones you want to go to. It doesn't have to be one led by our team or anything like that. Um, they're all awesome coaches leading. And then if you want to take the initiative to be a leader and do your own, you'll see how um, simple it is, then go for it. Like do those things that are going to make you grow as a leader. And then on May 30th, we are going to, so we have the go at your own pace new coach training, but we will have uh, another group uh, the 14 day new coach training. Um, so it's an opportunity for people to get connected within that group. Um, you know, we're seeing how the self paced training goes. It's the first time that we've had it. And um, it just, I 
think it's essential that we still have that one group where people can opt in so that they feel a part of the community and it's an awesome way to get to know others on the team. So that will start May 30th. It will be the same training. Um, so even if people have started, it's a great way to get in or redo it. I'm going to be going through it as well because a lot of the content um, is from other coaches. So it's just fun to learn. Um, you'll learn as a coach that you can all, you just repeat learning this stuff and then it finally like makes sense so great opportunity to join whether you have done new coach basics or not um, that will start may 30th okay so i'm going to do a quick screen share and we'll get started okay can you guys see my screen Okay, I'm trying something different, not PowerPoint this time, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so inviting to the team, that is our topic today. Um, many of you have goals for your family, for financial freedom, um, and all those things. In order to be successful with Beachbody, you have to build your team. That's just, that's where um, the long-term freedom of coaching comes. Um, so... It's an essential part um, if you're building a business. Um, if you're a hobby coach, you know, that may not be um, important, but it's still a great way to start off on the right foot and grow your business. So, and it's the most fun. Like, I love doing this and like having a community of like strong women or men, you know, to be a part of. So the first step to building um, your team and to inviting to the coach opportunity is you have to be okay with stepping outside of your comfort zone. This to me when I first started was probably the scariest part of coaching, but I remember listening to so many calls and being like, okay, what do I say to people? Like I just dug in um, and decided that my vision for coaching was bigger than my fears. Um, so where to get killer confidence. So when anything within Beachbody, you have to be consistent with the four vital behaviors. That is the top thing. Um, so being a product of the product. I don't know about you, but when I'm like not eating healthy or I'm not working out, I just like kind of sit back and I'm like, I don't feel confident inviting to something because I don't feel good about myself. Um, and I want to be a product of the product. So you have to be doing those things. And that's where that awesome accountability comes in. Um, personal development. I can't stress enough um, how important personal development is. 15 minutes a day. Feed your mind with positivity and things that are going to get you going. Um, I, if I wake up during the day and, or wake up in the morning and I am just not feeling it, which we all have those days, I always dig into some kind of personal development and that's what gets me through the day. Um, and I just get excited and pumped up and um, that actually helps with social media posts too because you can share what you're learning with your personal development. Um, so if anything, I think that's probably the most important. Inviting, obviously you have to invite. Um, and then the last newer uh, fourth vital behavior is recognition. So giving recognition to people when they're succeeding, your team, your challengers, friends, you know, giving that type of recognition. So obviously the four vital behaviors doing those. The really big things that are going to make you a killer coach and have killer confidence is that you believe that this company actually makes a difference. You have to have that belief. If you don't, um, you're going to burn out and it's, you know, it's going to come through. You're not going to be genuine. And you probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> so you have to believe in this company and what it's done. And then you have to have that belief that you can make a difference. So deep down, do you really believe that you can make a difference in some life? I know you can, you like know that you can, but you have to believe it. Um, and that's how you should be reproaching people whether they're challengers, whether they're coachings, uh, interested in coaching, I love having the opportunity to not just help challengers, but to help people that want to build their businesses as well, because I know what it's done for me. Um, and that's what keeps you going during some of the times when people are not interested or not wanting to do a challenge group. 
um, or not interested in coaching, that belief is what's going to carry you through. Um, so if you don't have that, find it. <laughs> and then building relationships. So this business is built on relationships. Um, you can't expect people to join you if you're just inviting them and not having any kind of conversation and being genuine and caring about them. Um, focus on building relationships first and um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's that genuine authentic authenticity that, um, that you have to have. Um, and when you feel comfortable with people and you know them, you know what solution you can provide for them. So step two is to create a list. Okay, so who are you looking for? I think um, this was something that also came out in one of Shalene Johnson's trainings was you get to decide who you want to work with. You are unique and um, you don't want to be sharing. I mean, you don't want to have your message go out to a mass audience. You want it to be very specific. Like, who do you want to help? So do you want to help someone who is maybe they're single, they love pets or animals, or maybe it's somebody who just recently got married, they're newlywed, they're gonna eventually you know, start planning a family, or do you wanna be working with, with moms? Maybe they're stay-at-home moms, maybe they're working moms, um, you know, people with young children. Do you want to work with someone who is on their own fitness journey? Maybe they have a long way to go, Maybe they um, just always are into fitness. Um, are they that person? Or maybe you're somebody that really wants to work with women in the business world. You know, they're working full time. They, you know that they want more or they're stressed out. Um, and you want to work with someone who's kind of in that, that business corporate role. Or it could be men too. You know, I just specifically work with women. Um, but you might have some kind of uh, niche with the male market as well. So you have to determine who you're gonna work with. And the best advice that I was ever given was to think of your old self. Think of yourself, maybe it was last week. Maybe you're just making changes. Maybe it was two years ago when you kind of had some kind of major event happen in your life. What value can you add into someone's life? And Shalene had mentioned it's, it's not very much fun to work with someone who already knows everything that you know, you know, like, or they're way ahead of you because then you're not like, you feel like you don't have that thing to offer them that they already know what they're doing. So think of that person that's, that's a few steps behind you that you know what they're going through and you can relate to them and you've conquered whatever they're going through. Um, so use that memory jogger that's in the coach online office. You know, when you're making a list, think of, you know, all of those people, write them down and then don't count anyone out. You know, you might think that, oh, that person's never going to be interested. They've got an awesome job. They, um, are, they're never going to be interested or never going to have time to do anything like this. Um, I love working with women who are busy because they get stuff done, you know, and I think that we count people out that potentially really could use this opportunity. So um, this is like something to just consider, like even when you're doing social media posts, are you looking for people who are willing to work now to have more freedom later? So sometimes in your posts, you know, it can, um, you know, I've made mistakes in my posts too, or when I'm reaching out to people, um, you don't want them to think that this is easy because this is, this is work, but it's going to bring you freedom later. Nobody's going to do the work for them. They have to do it themselves. Um, so it has to be somebody who's willing to put in the work now that wants to enjoy freedom in life later. You know, there's some, I remember when I was working full time and I was working late on my beach body business because I wanted something more um, and it paid off. So you're looking for those types of people. I mean, I was, it doesn't mean that you are, it just depends on, on your audience. Um, and then I'll be your mentor and pass on all of my resources to you. So that's that same thing. I'm not going to do everything for you, um, but I'll pass on everything that I have and the knowledge that I have and support and mentor you. Um, and then realize that this isn't for everybody. It just really isn't. Um, but it can be a really awesome vehicle for your family's dreams, 
you know, if someone is coachable and they want to learn and they're willing to master those small daily disciplines like the power hour. Um, so there's so much opportunity, but you have to realize it may not be right for everybody. Okay, so who is on your dream team? Um, so make that list. Start connecting with the people on that list. You know, go make, you might have hopefully already made a list, and if you haven't, that's okay. Get on top of it. Anybody that you know, not necessarily coaching-wise, make a big list. Star the people that you would want to work with, that you want to share a hotel room at Summit with, that you like, that you feel are cool, you know, that, that connect with you. And then star those people and start connecting with them. Nothing beach body related, you know, be genuine, want, get to know what's going on in their life if it's been a long time since you talked to them. And you can start with conversation starters that are CCQ. So comment, compliment, question. So, you know, if you're writing something out, that's always a great way to do it. You know, comment, compliment, question. Um, and I know that sometimes like <laughs> it can feel like maybe this is uh, motivated, you're motivated by something, like why you're reaching out to them. Um, and yes, there is like a reason that you're reaching out to them because you think they'd be awesome. But if you're having genuine conversation and you truly care um, and you feel that this is an opportunity that they may be interested in, then don't think of it that way. You know, it really isn't. And if it's not right, you're not going to be pushy. So um, just make sure that you're genuine. If you're feeling wrong about something, um, then reevaluate what you're saying to that person. And then usually one week later, I'll invite, you know, after the conversation ends, I'll invite that person to a challenge or to the coaching opportunity. And we have scripts of what to say um, for that. You know, I just kind of reach out and say, hey, I – you know, you were on my heart, I was thinking of you, and I thought you might be interested. A few of, you know, my friends and I are getting together to run a fitness challenge um, for this summer. We're just gonna work on clean eating, you know, nutrition, and um, working out, and I thought you might be interested. Would you like to join us? So something very basic. I mean, you just had a conversation with them, so it makes sense to connect back with them if you think they'd be interested. Okay, so when to invite and how, the third step. Okay, so I kind of go through these. So this would be a discount coach option. Um, invite when someone is signing up for a challenge pack. Um, so usually, um, this is a great opportunity for someone that you know is on a fitness journey that isn't just looking for one month. They're wanting a lifestyle change they're probably most likely going to continue with you with you after this first challenge. Um, and so this is just an example of something that I have said in the past. You know, awesome. That's a good choice. You know, they're getting ready to sign up. Um, I don't bring it up beforehand because that can seem very like, hey, what are you, you know, what are you doing or what are you talking about? It can make people nervous. Um, but before I forget, are you interested in signing up for the preferred membership discount? Basically, since, and I'll be, I'll share these slides with everyone. Basically, since you're purchasing a challenge pack, the sign up fee is waived and it costs $16 per month, but you save about $30 on future Shakeology and get $2 shipping. And you can continue in the challenge groups. Most people get hooked. Um, and you can also cancel at any time with no fee or anything. So that's just a great way. And usually people are like, oh yeah, you know, I plan on continuing. I want to continue in these challenge groups. Um, and some people are saying, well, I'd rather wait, and that's fine too, but at least you're giving that, that opportunity when someone is signing up with the challenge pack. I didn't do this initially, um, and I've started in doing that within my business, and it's been very successful, and people are more likely to continue on. Less steps is always easier. <coughs> okay, so then a hobby or business builder someone that you think would be a hobby or business builder coach. So this would be a challenger. Um, and this would be inviting mid challenge. So it's somebody that um, is doing awesome in the group. Um, and I used to actually only invite people that were really participating in the group. But I was surprised when I invited a close friend who wasn't participating and she was like, yeah, I want to do this. 
So don't always, um, don't make the decision for someone for them by not inviting them, you know? Don't make that decision for them. Uh, so, hey, Julie, excited to see, you know, I'm something personal that you tried the spaghetti squash. Um, I've had you on my heart all day. You were just so awesome in this challenge group, and I'm so excited for you. Have you ever considered doing what I do? And then I usually um, include something that I know that's going to be a hesitation for them. They may be really busy. It may be finances. But, for instance, I address that hesitation right away. Um, so I built my business in an hour a day. I know you're super busy and I was to my first year. So it's that feel felt found, but usually women who are the business truly inspire so many people and know how to get things done. So I kind of address that and you don't have to include that. Sometimes I'll just ask, have you ever considered doing what I do? Um, if I feel that they'd be an awesome coach and there's someone that I would want on my team. Um, and then a discount coach. So here's one thing. I think a lot of people, including myself when I first started, was that I would always approach people with a discount option first. So you're already discounting the fact that they would ever want to coach, like actively coach. So always address or ask them, unless it's when they're signing up um, with the challenge pack, address them about the actual coaching opportunity. And then if they're not interested, you could bring up the preferred discount. So you could still save, do you still wanna save some money on your Shakeology? Uh, so anyways, challenger, inviting towards the end of a challenge. Awesome, I'm so excited. Any questions? I'm, how are you liking the workouts in Shakeology? And then I just say, are you interested in signing up for the membership discount? Sometimes that word coach makes people nervous. So I've quit calling it that. Granted, when they sign up, I say, it will say coach, but don't worry, you don't have to actively coach or anything like that because people, you don't, and you can cancel at any time. Um, oh, can you guys see me and hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hey guys, can you hear me? Oh, yes, you can hear me, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It said unstable and then everybody froze up. Okay. So, um, and I just tell them what they're going to save. I tell them that it's going to cost them money. If they purchased a challenge pack in the past, that fee of 40, 39 95 is completely refunded. I fill out that form for them so they don't have to do the work. Um, and it just is easy. So that's another option. And then hobby or business builder. So this is a non-challenger. So nobody that someone that hasn't done a challenge before, um, but there's somebody that I think would be an awesome coach. Awesome coach. Um, so this can be any time after you've connected with them. Don't just like out of the blue be like, hey, I mean, unless you're close and you already connect and you're friends now, um, those are the best people to reach out to if you're close friends. Um, but this is just an example of something that I had said, you know, I checked in with her and just let her know that she's been on my heart lately. I wanted to ask if you've ever considered doing what I do as a health and fitness coach. You've been on my would be, would make a rock star coach list for a long time because of an insert why you think they would be awesome. Okay. That's the key thing. Sometimes people don't ever consider it because they don't think they'd be good at it. They've never thought about it. They didn't know that that opportunity would be something that, um, that they would ever be good at. And so people just sometimes need that validation. <clears throat> and then I always ask a question at the end that is nothing beach body related. Okay, so here's another example of an invite to a coaching opportunity. And I'm gonna be honest, this is something that I lack in. Um, I used to do it all the time, and I was when I was getting ready to put this together, I was like, I am not doing this enough, it, doing this enough. Top coaches say the minimum that you should do is two times a week, and that's posting on your page about the coaching opportunity. A lot, you'd be surprised at how many people don't actually realize that it exists or that they could do what you do. 
Um, and sometimes you may not hear anything back, but you're planting seeds. So think of every post as you know planting seeds. Now you wanna be active on your social media account and not just posting about the coaching opportunity. So make sure that you're, you're balancing it and people aren't like, oh my gosh, she's gonna post about that opportunity again. You know, make sure there's awesome content within your page with that um, so that it makes sense. So these are examples. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a link I put together. I'll show you it in a second of the actual copy that they used in their posts. So these were some of the images, you know, have a deadline. Join my team RSVP by Wednesday. We have a new coach training that's starting. This is a brand new training by top coaches that we're starting on May 30th. So this is a great opportunity for you to invite to join the team. And you could talk about how we have a brand new training starting and you know you want to help or mentor five other women who are busy that you know are hard workers you know list out things that that you see in the team that you want to have um, so that you kind of attract the right person so these are examples of images. So it's got to be a quality scroll stopping image, you know, something that makes people stop and, and, and think and want to read what you're writing. <coughs> uh, describe who you want. As I mentioned, have a call to action. So how do they get in touch with you? How um, a great option is creating an application. If you're a newer coach, you may not have that and that's fine. Um, just Tell them to reach out to you to comment below sometimes if they feel like they have to comment below they might not because they don't want the whole world to see that they're interested um, so always you know reach out to those people that maybe have liked the post something along those lines um, and then invite to coach op coach opportunity events too so not just trainings but anytime we have our team hosts a coaching opportunity event you guys that is like a golden time to share the opportunity golden time because you're inviting them to an event and you don't have to go through all the details within a message it's summed up within this event so it's it saves you some of that like scary conversation um, and we can kind of lead it for you and and talk about it together and we would love to have you help host those too if you have people that you you know are connecting with so that's a great opportunity to post about the coaching opportunity as well but that doesn't mean there does not have to be an event to post about the coaching opportunity so these are a few other images that I pulled from other coaches that I thought were were good um, and then what I've done and I'll pull it up when I'm done with the, the call I've created a document where I saved these images and exactly what their post read don't copy what they wrote but use it as inspiration of how to share Another um, recommendation, so Bonnie Ingle, she was the top, I think she was the top two, number two in the business last year, and she did a national wake-up call, so go back to, through the national wake-up calls, that was awesome, and she talked about sharing the opportunity, and in her posts on social media, she confronted those objections, so she would have a post that was about um, you know coaching is not salesy you know it's not about sales um, so she would have another post that was about that you have to have a ton of time in order to be a coach or you have to be a fitness and so she like debunked those objections within her post so go back and listen to that call if you're looking for more inspiration but I thought that was genius because um, it's gonna reach somebody who has that objection um, and it might oh Whoa, do you see that? Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> so I thought these were good, and I'll share the text that went with all of these. Um, but feel free to like go and search around and see what other coaches are doing as well. And then the fourth thing, the success is in the follow-up. So you guys, every time I invite somebody to the coaching opportunity, I expect them to say no. I already know that most likely they're going to say no. Because did you say yes right away? No. And I, right, exactly. <laughs> so 
And I said, no, I signed up for the discount initially, but I was like, I would never be a coach. I'm never going to coach, never going to coach. And then finally one day I was like, I think I want to do this, you know? So you have to relate to that and expect that when you invite. Um, they say five to seven no's before a yes. That's like the normal, if you've read the book, go for pro, uh, or go for no, not go for pro, go for no. Um, so expect that, um, people are going to have hesitations and you're think, consider it as planting seeds. Now you might get somebody that's like very ready to go right away. Um, and that's awesome too. That's always a good feeling, but expect those objections. Um, and know that no means not right now. Um, think about your hesitations relate and then just always remember to be genuine and not pushy. So don't bug people. Um, just share your heart with them and why you think they would be awesome. Um, and then just remember to always only be reaching out to people that you truly want on your team, you know, and that allows you to be genuine because you truly, you do see something in them and you see somebody that you like, that you want to hang out with, that you want to spend more time with. So think of, think of that when you are inviting. But when somebody says, um, they're not interested, you know, that doesn't mean you can't invite again. Um, so continue those invitations. If somebody doesn't respond to something that you wrote, check back in with them because usually they just didn't get their messages or they're thinking about it. Um, so make sure that you're checking in and following up. I usually pick a day or two every week and I go through all of my Facebook messages and I go through the ones that I haven't had people respond to and I just, send a quick check in with, with all of those people. Um, it is so important. If you don't follow up, I mean, it's going to be very hard for you to grow because most people, um, aren't ready right away. So that key is in the follow up. And then, and then I wanted to share this. This was from Jessica Pasola and she, had shared this in another call and I figured out was I would just share it on here, give her credit because I thought it was good. But use that feel felt found when you have those objections. You know, I felt the same way. I never thought I'd have time to do this, but this is what I found and what it's, how it's changed her life. Um, and then another example is right here. And I think that goes to the same aspect as money objections. Usually when somebody says, like if they're signing up for a challenge group, so this is off the coaching topic, they're concerned about the, ch the cost. Um, and that's the same thing, you know, share, I have an awesome, she had another slide, but share, you know, how you felt, you know, I thought she was was ridiculously expensive, expensive, but then I found how much it like actually saved in my budget because I have both of Brennan and I drink it every morning. Um, it's replacing a meal. We've removed our multivitamins. So go through those feel felt pounds. When somebody objects to something, don't just say, okay, um, you know, I guess I understand, you know, share how you feel felt found and how it's changed your life. And then if they're not interested, I always say, well, would you like me to check back in with you next month? Um, and that's the same with coaching objections is using that feel felt found. And if you go on to the coach online office in the training area, there's more information about the feel felt found, um, how to share that and ways to have that, use that within your conversations. Okay. Um, stop share. And then I want, um, I'm just going to quick share with you. And then I wanted to have time for questions. So you should be able to see my full screen now. If I can close this. Christy, I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, which opportunity? So this is, I'll share this uh, link um, under the call. Actually, I can share it with you in the chat box right now.
Um, and I'll try to continue to add to this as I see good examples. Um, save this link to your Google Drive. But basically, it's an example of a post and then what they, what they wrote within that post. And so it's some great examples, um, you know, just to kind of see what other coaches are, are sharing and uh, they're successful, so it's working. Okay, so that you should have the link to. And then, was, did anybody have any questions? When is the next sneak peek into coaching? We don't have one scheduled right now, um, but let me look at the calendar. Usually they're every two weeks. So we are So we could do one next week. 24th, 25th, 26th. Do you guys have a preference? Uh, 26th would be good for me. My golf tournament is on the 25th. Okay. Evening? Yes. Erica, does that work for you? Uh, let me look. Christy? Um, what time on Thursday nights is our small group for church? What time do you get done? Eight. So would 8.30 central time, 9.30? We could try to do a half hour one. Is that too late for you, Jen? I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to save this link. Oh, I'll figure it out later. Nate, if we did like an eight o'clock, we could just, I mean, if we have enough people, we could schedule her later. Later. That would be awesome. And I could post like from where I'm at too, because I'll have my phone. So even like our study part is done at eight. And so I can just jump in whenever then at that point. Okay. That's awesome. So we'll do 8 PM. Perfect. And can I count on you guys to lead? Help lead? Okay. That's probably what I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to be up on camera. We're going to have people ask you questions. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wonderful. I get to meet my whole small group. <laughs> No, so, yeah. hey, you like all of those people. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Any other questions? Does did all of that make sense? Did anything like strike a chord with you? Oh, we have less than a minute left. I just thought it was great having one of my coaches that I pursued for a year finally <laughs> come on and show. I mean, that was genuine, and that's someone that I had on my my list of 15 yeah. people or whatever and that's the same as Jen for me I invited her so many times and so I times. seriously Jen I was I remember thinking like she's like healthy like you were so fun like when we were in Seeds Ferry like kind loving genuine and you know <laughs> it's Thank you for continuing to follow up with me <laughs> But that's, you know, and that's how my coach followed up with me. And she's not really actively coaching now, but I don't know where it would be if, if they went to follow up with me, you know, right. stuck in a job that, I mean, I don't know where I would be because I wouldn't have anything right now. And I'd be changing jobs now that we're in New York. Um, so, yeah, I struggle with inviting anyone that's not military or military spouse to the opportunity because I don't have any of the fees and I like 